Hi guys and welcome to this video on, well, YouTube and certainly MathGuru.com, but maybe who knows, TikTok. Yes, I've joined TikTok. There's only one video. It's some of my month old daughter. It's a little bit strange at this moment in time, but yes, I'm on TikTok. Thank you very much for those of you out there who've recently joined uh, my channel. Hopefully this is going to be another helpful video for you. If you are new, please, can you click on that little corner uh, thing in the corner? It is a subscribe button. And the reason I do these videos and what keeps me going is people who subscribe not uh, Avenue, uh, Red Avenue, uh, sorry, Ad Avenue, never going to get that. Not enough people watch these videos. Um, but just knowing that people watch them and it's helpful is great. Now, I'm done with all this gushy stuff. Did I mention MathGuru.com, which is all sorted by textbook and chapters and has downloadable notes? Wow, does it never end. Yep, that's there as well. Now, onto this video. Coefficient of determination. What on earth is the coefficient of determination? Well, I don't know about you, it sounds very similar to correlation. Yes, the coefficient or the correlation coefficient. Can't even get it out. What's going on? It's too early in the morning. Okay, so in a previous video, what did we do? We looked at the value of R, which was Pearson's correlation coefficient, as I've said here, yes? Now, Pearson's correlation coefficient is basically a numerical value to give a measure of the linearity of a series of points on a scatter plot. Now, what that's trying to say is it does not actually mean that the two are associated. I know that sounds stupid, but there is probably some sort of relationship between the number of IKEAs in a country and the number of Nobel Prizes which have been run. One, all right? Believe it or not, and I know this because it's coming in the next video, but is there actually an association? Do we believe that if we were to build more IKEAs in Australia, we'd get more Nobel Prize winners? Probably not. Yet the graph could be used to show that. So we have to be careful that the value of R just shows me how linear a series of plots are, not necessarily that there is an association between the two. We know that the value of R falls between minus one and one. So minus one is a perfectly negative association. One, a perfectly positive association, and zero, well, the points are all over the place, so who knows? And we found there were two ways of doing this, by hand and using the CAS. Now, the by hand formula was disgusting, and if you haven't watched this video, it's really, really short, but it shows you how to use this formula, what it means by hand. That was the coefficient, uh, sorry, that was the correlation coefficient. Now we're gonna move on to the coefficient of determination, and as I say, this is just another thing we can use to analyze some data. Now, the language here is important, and the good news is it's scaffolded. There is a sentence you can use in your exams and in your SACs that you just change three things. Now, to me, that sounds awesome. You've just gotta make sure you understand which three things they are. And believe it or not, one of them is a percentage, one of them is the name of the explanatory variable, and one of them is the name of the response variable. <laughs> really? It's that simple? It is that simple, but you've just gotta get it the right around. Now, it is important that you understand here that the correlation, sorry, the coefficient of determination, I always get them wrong, is the degree given as a percentage to which one variable can be predicted from another. So for example, if I have math scores and science scores, can I actually find a value that says how likely it is to predict a science score from a math score? And again, I'll just draw that again, here we go. Here is maths, here is science, here are some crosses. Now obviously it would be lovely if we could come up with a percentage to say how likely it is that for someone who misses my science test, I can look at what they got in their maths test and predict how close we think they were. All right, so that's what this is. How to find it? As I say, it's really simple because it basically builds on the Pearson's correlation coefficient. Oh my God. Now don't press stop, not just yet guys, this is a preview video and you've reached almost the end of it, but it does continue over on mathguru.com. Mathguru.com, yep, that's my custom website, bits of it you can see around me at the moment. That has been designed to allow the videos to be easier searched than they are on YouTube. So you can search by chapter, by textbook. Each video has downloadable notes for you, so you can put them in your summary book or your exercise book. There are exam questions and there is more and more content and more stuff coming as time allows. So head on over there, it's absolutely free to sign up and I'm doing everything I can to make sure that you guys enjoy maths and actually take out the mastery of maths. It is not as hard as you think, it is all smoke and mirrors. Okay, thanks very much. Take care guys, I look forward to seeing you in another video. Stay safe.